Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the e-commerce series using Django. In this one, we'll get started working with the product lists page. That is what we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. Begin by opening up your code editor and you want to get back to the user admin views py and somewhere at the bottom here you want to pretty much define a new view called product and this one will take requests and now let's fetch all the products you can still do this the same way we did this once here if you don't want to have to type all this out it's still the same thing okay and then you could pass in the context if you want or you could still type all this out I'll just remove the ones that we do not need. Okay. And finally, let's return the templates. If you don't want to, if you don't want to type that out, you could just take the templates from here also and put it down here and change this to products.html. Now this means you need to create a new products.html in the user admin folder. And in here, let's open up the URLs user admin and set up a new route for products. So products, you can actually call this products with an S, but that means you need to get back to your view and save it with an S, okay? I hope this makes sense. And after this, change up the name and also the route, okay? And when we are done now, we can pretty much call products. And now we could even change those buttons here so that when we click on any of this, it takes us to the right place. For that, you want to open up base HTML and look for, this is dashboard, right? So you could, you could replace this tag here, this user admin tag here with dashboard. So I'll remove this, just leave that one empty, okay? See, this one goes to user admin slash URL, then user admin, and the name is products. So when you get back here and reload this page and you click on this, you should now see a blank page. All right, that is all good. Get back to the dashboard front end templates, grab products.html and put it in your own blank products.html and reload the page. There you go, this is what we have. All you need to do is bring in the necessary information like the import statements and all that. So I'm gonna grab this from here and pretty much bring it into the into the products. Take the end block content and make sure that it's covering every part of the code. And um, when, we, when we reload this page, can you see? This is what we have, looking all good, right? So without out of the way now, all we pretty much need to do is loop through the products. So where does the first loop start from? Um, hold on, let me see. This is item lists. I think it actually started from the air, from the item lists. But, okay, you know what, we can actually just, yeah, I think, I believe that's where it started from. Just run your for loop. Say for P in all products, for P in all products, then end for over here. And let's check this out. So you reload the page, see? We have all our products coming in, all good. So now that we have all this, let's start changing up the information. For example, the source should be p.image.url. Let's see, there you go. And also I will remove this. I do not need this. Okay, and also let's change up the title to something else. Instead of saying the product title, you should say p.title. And instead of showing this, let's show the price. So p.price. And let's show the status, p.status. Okay, I want to confirm the status from the core models. So I'm looking for products, um, type, status is true, okay? That means it's actually live, right? Um, I think that's it. Let's also change up the date. So instead of this date here, 
I should say p dot date. There you go. If you don't want to show the time, you could pretty much format the dates like this. So you could say dates, then show dates, month, and year. Just like that. We don't have the edit and delete yet. So we'll work with this in the future videos. So that is pretty much it. As you can see, our products are all coming in perfectly well. And in the next one, we maybe will get started working with the create product and also the edit product and also the delete product. That is pretty much it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and learned something new. I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, mad love. Peace out.